Jess and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If it's your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And um, if you enjoy this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It's always really nice. So today's video is the second video in my back to school series. And um, it's kind of related to back to school, but I also feel like it's just an important video. I was like, I have to make this video. So what we're gonna be talking about today is how to be a girl boss and just about 15 tips on how to really like I don't know, how to become a girl boss, things that have helped me become a girl boss. First off, I wanted to start with, to me, a girl boss doesn't, like, it doesn't mean you have to be president of a club or, like, have two jobs or, like, have a college scholarship or, like, be whatever. Like, I, to me, a girl boss is someone who is empowered and empowers others, someone who's hardworking, gets her stuff done, and who does stuff with purpose, intent, and someone who's kind. You know, I feel like there's a lot of characteristics of a girl boss, but I feel like today we really see it as people who, like, get stuff done. And, um, to do that, there's a lot, I feel like, that goes on behind the scenes. Nothing I'm going to tell you today is going to be, like, this groundbreaking, like, wow, I never thought of that. But I do think these are things that I wish if someone had told me going into high school. There's a lot of, um, girls on YouTube who really have been role models for me growing up giving this kind of advice, and I figured I want to give that to you. So I made a list of 15 things that I, like, 15 habits I've adopted this year that have really helped me to become more of the girl boss I am, so I want to share those with you. So here are my 15 tips on how to be a girl boss. First off, plan your day and manage your time. If you're gonna be a boss, you have to manage your time wisely. You probably have a lot of stuff going on, like everyone does. And I think in part of the difference between someone who's a leader and someone who's just not is just like you know what you're doing with your time you make to-do lists you have your planner you don't overbook this is all key and I think that is something that when I started really becoming more of a girl boss I was like I'm gonna get my planner I'm gonna get my stuff done I'm gonna make it happen wake up earlier everyone says this and I know you're probably tired of hearing it but the earlier you wake up the better when you wake up early in the morning like I'm talking early you get like First of all, I started waking up at 5 a.m. this year. If you watched my morning routine video a few months ago, you probably know this. But um, when you wake up at like 5 a.m., no one's awake, no one's on social media, you can focus on yourself. Your brain is like on a different level. Like once you get in the habit of it, then your body gets used to it. That is the worst part. Once your body gets used to it, then you're like a different person. It's really cool how much you can get accomplished the earlier you wake up. But in the summertime, like even if you just wake up at 9 or 8 a.m., it's so much better than 11 o'clock. 12, 1, 2, like people do that, maybe you do, but the earlier you wake up, the more you can get done, you can be so productive, and I really like when I get my stuff done morning to afternoon, and then I have all evening to hang out with my friends, see my family, hang out by myself, like having that time, it changes the game. Going along with that, be sure to sleep. Sleep is, oh, I love sleep. Like I feel like in high school, so many people neglect sleep. Don't neglect sleep, sleep as much as you can without like, I mean not doing stuff. Write down your goals and track your progress. If you really have a goal or a dream, like you have to write it down. You have to break it down into chunks, make it happen. I feel like a lot of times people have goals, but like they just don't go for it. Or like they're just like running for it, but you don't know where you're going. Like you gotta break things down. You have to have a plan. And if you want to set your mind to it and do it, you can do it. You can make time to exercise. Whenever I read stuff about successful CEOs and all these people, one of the things it says is they always make time to exercise. And for so long, I was like, that's crazy. No, it's not. When you make time to exercise, um, when you exercise in general, I don't know if you know this, but it releases certain endorphins in your brain. Am I saying the right word? I hope I am, but that's what I think I remember hearing. Basically, happy chemicals go off and your brain is like, ah! That's how I felt this morning after I did my yoga. I was like, yes, woo, life! It's really cool, and part of it, maybe part of it's that I'm really optimistic and maybe exercising just helps, but even if you just go for a jog, I love jogging, oh my gosh. If you just run around and get your blood pumping, it will help you feel so much like better. Like exercising, awesome. Girl bosses exercise. Make sure you know why you're doing what you're doing. I think it's really imp important to have a purpose, you know? And I guess this kind of goes along with your goals, but like, why are you doing this? Like, I see some people go just so crazy over their grades, but it's like, why? Like, are you trying to be a doctor or are you just trying to graduate? Like, not saying grades aren't important, but I think it's really important whenever you're doing anything, know your intention behind it, know your goals, your dreams, similar to the goals, but just like, what is your purpose and why are you doing what you're doing? Having that in mind keeps it, um, when you know that in your mind, it's a lot easier to 
remember that like, okay, I'm studying really hard for this test, but that's because I want to go to Harvard, I want to be a doctor, I want to, whatever it is for you, you know? But knowing why you're doing it is always really helpful. Get yourself an accountability partner. This is probably the cheesiest thing I could say, but when I have a super long to-do list, what I like to do is to read it to my mom, to tell one of my friends. Have someone who will actually hold you accountable and check in a few hours later and be like, hey, did you do this? Or like, hey, is this done? Or like, do you need help with this? Like, having someone there to encourage you and to keep you accountable can be nice. Cause like, I'm gonna admit, sometimes there's things you just need support. And so, girl bosses, they know. You turn to your group, you have your people that you can lean on and depend on. And drink smoothies and cut some of the junk food. I'm so bad about eating fruits and eating vegetables, but you know what I can do? I can go down to my kitchen and blend them all up and sit at my desk, work, and drink them. I am so much more prone to eat healthy if I drink it and just cutting little unhealthy things. We love junk food at my house, but we really are making like a conscious effort to eat healthier and I feel so much better. It's so cool. Like it just makes me really happy and peppy. You can probably tell right now, I'm like, I'm wired. I haven't had any coffee today. I am just like, woo, take time to relax, treat yourself. I feel like I emphasize this so much on my channel because in the people I'm around, like just in my grade and in high school, I feel like people don't take time to take care of themselves and we want to take care of everyone and we want to save the world and we want to do all this stuff, but it's like at the end of the day, maybe you just need to go to bed two hours earlier or maybe you should take a bath or listen to your favorite song or go for a walk. Like taking time to take care of yourself little things will help you recharge figure out what things make you feel awesome commit time to your relationships i think a lot of times we see people who are um very successful and we just don't remember that they have families and friends and all this stuff going on too and i think that's really important if you're gonna be a girl boss you can't leave behind the people you love and i don't know about like i know this isn't the same for everyone else but at least for me my love language is quality time and so for me it's super important to like make sure like i'm spending time with the people i love because that's like what makes me feel like yes and so even if that's not your love language i think it's amazing to spend time with the people you love spend time in community with other people use your email respond to your messages get stuff done i think it's really important that if you're going to be a girl boss you got to communicate i'm bad about responding to text messages sometimes I think everyone is at different times but drink water I know like I don't know why like I always carried a water bottle everywhere like I feel like everyone carries their water bottle to school or maybe you have it but like I never realized how freaking amazing I feel when I'm like hydrated like whoa drinking water I'm gonna be like everyone tells you this but if you just drink water take your water bottle with you everywhere and it will you will just notice like you feel more energized you feel happier all around better when you drink lots of water go outside more I don't know about you but I'm not a super outdoorsy girl so this for me for a long time was something that I really was bad about but recently I've just been taking my dogs out more I'm out there for five minutes and I'm like yeah okay this is nice something about the fresh air and the sunlight it's gonna make you feel better that's also a great way to take a break just spend time outside so now we're getting into the last three tips of the video and these I think are three of the most important so stick around if you're still here so be willing to listen to others get critiques to change and to grow this is so important. There's so many people who are older than me or more experienced in different fields and they are so often willing to help you just like other people help them. And if anyone wants to give you advice, don't turn them down, listen. You don't have to take it, you can just say thank you and move on. But um, I find it's, if you wanna grow, that is so much how I grow. I mean, I know like, yeah, you can Google everything, but it's not the same as hearing someone who's a mentor to you or someone just you're close with. Take advice, and I'm not saying like if someone says they don't like your hair, like go change it. I'm saying like maybe you're in whatever, if you're in a sport and someone gives you advice, or maybe you're in computer science and someone teaches you something new, take little things, take their critiques, save those, and take advantage of that. Try new things. What a cliche. I'm sorry. I don't know how else to phrase it. If you have a goal in mind and you're not making progress, you gotta change things. This is something I've really had to work with this year because it's like I think it's easy to get in the habit of things and you've like you've got your gym you're doing your stuff but maybe you're not making the progress you want if you want to get stuff done be willing to try different things basically just be open-minded and be willing to try new things hey guys camera battery died so slightly different angle but we're back we're moving on anyways 
For my final tip, this is probably one of the most important things that my parents ever taught me. Um, and that is that successful people are not afraid to help other people be successful and to lift them up. A really cool thing is that when you are successful, you're in a position where you have the ability to help other people. And when you help someone else out achieve their goals and their dreams, you put them in a position where they can easily do the same thing for other people. They can kind of start a chain reaction. And I don't know, I just think whenever it comes to your day to day life, you never know that, you just never know how many people you could be impacting in a positive way. So if you have the chance, don't be afraid to help people. So many people try to, when they're like successful, they want to like, Mm, keep the secrets to their success guarded and it's just like no don't do that like just share that and help other people don't be afraid to help other people be successful too so guys those are just my tips on how to be a girl boss there's only 15 so i may have left something out if you think i did don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and let me know some of your advice on how you are a girl boss in your day-to-day -day life and don't forget this isn't exclusive to girls but i will say i think that the girl boss movement is a really big movement right now for females and i think that's so exciting lift each other up set goals achieve them like this is so cool if you enjoyed this don't forget to leave a thumbs up and there's so much more to come on being a girl boss, getting ready for back to school, and everything fun. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!